How's everyone doing today? I'm doing well. Thank you for asking. Guys, today we have another movie review. <laughs> movie review. As usual, I have my handy dandy trusty notebook. Why? Because I can't remember all this stuff, guys. I'm not going to remember all this. So, I have my handy dandy trusty notebook to help me out, okay? So, the movie we're going to talk about today is Minority Report from 2002. That's right, Minority Report. I finally got around to watching this just a couple of days ago. And I'm glad I did. I'm a Tom Cruise fan. I don't watch every Tom Cruise movie, and I don't like every Tom Cruise movie. But I'm a Tom Cruise fan. He's one of my top three or four actors of all time. So I'm glad I finally watched this. So let's get on with the review slash talk about thoughts and opinions, shall we? The movie stars Tom Cruise, Colin Farrell, Samantha Morton, Max von Sydow, however you say it, along with several other familiar faces. Plenty of people in this movie, and I'm not going to write them all down. That's most of the people that we got there. All right, let's talk about the story. In the future, a special crime unit is able to see murders before they happen with the use of three special people called precogs. Together, they are able to render murder obsolete. An event happens where they see our main guy, John Anderton, played by Tom Cruise, commit a crime. Now it's up to him to help clear his name. That's right, what's going to throw you in this movie, or it does me, is Tom Cruise's character's name is John Anderton. You would think it would be Anderson, but it's Anderton. It's kind of strange. Kind of a small pet peeve with me. But, let's get on and talk about the characters and acting and how I feel about these people in this movie. Tom Cruise plays John Anderton well. For me, Tom Cruise always delivers. His intensity is unmatched. I love many actors like Harrison Ford, Arnold Schwarzenegger, Stallone, but for me, Cruise is brilliant and, and believable in any movie he's in. Doesn't mean I love all of his movies, which I said earlier, uh, but this movie, to me, is pretty great. We have Colin Farrell. He plays Danny Whitmer, I believe. I'm not a huge Farrell fan, but the moments in this movie are well done. He seems to bring his A-game, even though he's not sitting in the front seat, really, for, for much of this movie. Uh, what he does do is pretty well done. Like, a, like I said, I'm not a huge Colin Farrell fan. Now we have Samantha Morton. She plays Agatha. I'm not familiar with her in much, but she looked very familiar. I kept looking at her and I was like, man, she looks familiar. Very familiar. I looked her up and holy cow. She plays Alpha in The Walking Dead. As with that show, she brought the same well-done acting way back in 2002 in this movie. She plays as one of the precogs, the main one, actually. She can be very intense when it's called for. And just like in The Walking Dead, uh, she takes her part pretty seriously. She has a, a way about her, her face, and the way she delivers her lines. And I think she does pretty well. She's a pretty good actress, just from what I've seen in these uh, couple of roles I've seen her in. And Max von Sydow, 
I know I'm probably saying that wrong. He plays director Lamar Burgess. I can't say I know him, but he was in some movies from Footloose to Flash Gordon, Conan the Barbarian, Exorcist 2, and tons of other movies. Uh, even at this stage in the game, he brought a solid performance. Um, he w he wasn't uh, he wasn't that huge part, kind of like Colin Farrell. Uh, he didn't have a whole lot of uh, camera time, but the time that he was in front of the camera, he he had a, a a solid job. He did a you know solid job in in what he did. So um, now on to kind of how the the movie looks and feels for me. This movie looks to be probably about ninety nine percent CGI. Uh, for its time, it actually still holds up well enough. Uh, but those things don't really bother me a whole lot. I take things into consideration of how old the movie is and how far along CGI was and, and different things of that nature. And I'm the same way with video games. Uh, there's people that can't go back and play games uh, from, say, the PlayStation 2 and N64 era and all that because it burns their little eyes and they just can't handle it. Uh, for me, I don't care. If something's good, then it it uh, trumps kind of how it looks. You know, you have to take, uh, take things into account of when they were done, the technology that's used, uh, budget, etc. So stuff like that don't really bother me. Uh, the cinematography was all well done. There's lots of shots and lots of different things and and, and things look cool. Uh, what I noticed about this movie though uh, is it looks a lot like uh, Tom Cruise's pretty much next movie I think, uh, War, of the, War of the Worlds, which I really love that movie. You know how if you've seen War of the Worlds it kinda has that washed out over contrasty bleachy look. And that's how this movie looks, too. It's kind of a weird look, but, you know, it works. So, you know, it's all right. Uh, for me, the story and the pace and, and everything move along uh, quickly. It's almost a two-hour movie, but it moves along and it doesn't drag out and it feels uh, well filled out throughout the, the movie. Um, yeah, I enjoyed it. I thought it was pretty good. Um, of course there are some chase scenes with Tom Cruise. You gotta have that, you gotta have the man running, okay? He's gotta run. I don't think he was shirtless in this, from what I remember. But, you gotta have Tom Cruise running. Okay? That's a rule. So that's basically my little thoughts and opinions and uh, review sort of of the movie. Uh, I'll, I, it's, it's a movie I'd probably watch again. And uh, something that I liked about it is it wasn't overly complicated. Some movies are just overly complicated and you get lost, or I do. I tend to get lost in what's going on and if things are kind of... Uh, if there, especially if there's like any time jumping or any weird thing like that sometimes or alternate universe type things happening and stuff like that. Uh, sometimes I get really lost in stories. But this one here was easy enough to follow along and, and I, I found it fairly enjoyable. So guys, for me, for this movie, uh, I'm going to give it a solid 4 out of 5. Um, it, you may watch it and score it lower, you may watch it and score it higher, but I, I'll give it a solid 4 out of 5, which I, is a pretty good score. So, anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. hope you enjoyed my channel. Like, share, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff. I got videos for everybody, from kids up to adults and everything in between, alright? I do it for myself, I do it for you. Why? Because I love it. It gives me something to do, guys. Well, don't forget, you can get up, get out, get red, do it to it, even, well, I don't know, heck, sitting here doing a movie review.
That sounds pretty good. Guys, go watch this movie. We'll see y'all later.